Welcome everyone to this week 10 action between the Atlanta Swarm and the Toaster Desperados. Where champions are crowned and dreams come true. You are watching the SFL Network live on YouTube. Live from the Hive in Atlanta, Georgia, it's week 10 in the SFL as the playoffs run begins to heat up and catch fire. It's the SFL on YouTube. I'm your play-by-play -play commentator today. Alongside me is T-Roy Gaines. We're in Atlanta as the 4-5 and five Tulsa Desperados take on the 4-5 and five Atlanta Swarm. These two teams are separated by 783 miles along Interstate 40 East and I-22. Both teams are looking to go 5-5 five and five after both teams lost their last game to jump ahead in the playoff race. When you can run it, throw it, and catch it, your official SFL champions contenders. The Skyhawks versus the Swarm. I'm sorry, the Swarm versus the Desperados are next live on YouTube and the SFL Network. T-Roy, what are your take on today's game? Well, this is a rematch from Week 7's matchup, which Tulsa coming up winning on top 23-9. to Atlanta's looking to come back and get the season series tied it's time to get started and Atlanta's getting the ball first their return LB Allen the third all he has to do is take two steps and he'll get over a thousand yards and kick returns for this season Boot it! absolutely he has been outstanding. And there's Allen. He's got those 1,000 yards on return right there as he stopped and brought down at the 30-yard line. Atlanta in the white hat, blue shirt, blue pants, white numbers, black trim, white straps on the jersey as well. Tosa, all white. Also, we have Shane Varner. And on stats today, I think that's the first time we had stats. <laughs> uh, uh, for you and I, T.R. <clears throat> there you go. He'll definitely be a great help. And there's a five-step drop here by Dunhill. Dunhill, and he got his receiver. And guess who it is? It's Falco. He jumps up, took that thing out of the air, and say, give me that, and don't you say nothing about it. <clears throat> and right off the back, Marcus Dunhill did a great right. job standing calm in the middle for a nice pass in the middle of Siege Falco. Great play to start off the game. Shan on stats. Trips right here for Dunhill. Nickel, I'm sorry, dying formation for the defense. And here's a handoff here to BJ Hollywood. And BJ got some spin move. Makes a few guys miss. Picks up four yard on that carry. And BDG Hollywood is doing what he normally do. Nice spin right in the middle. Able to break free and get a nice gain of four. See if they can get a first down on this one. Second and six here for Dunhill in the swarm. Three wide receivers set. Here's a handoff here for BGD Hollywood. And Hollywood picks up a first down and more with his second carry of the day. And the offensive line is doing a great job so far. Open up huge lanes for BDG Hollywood as he just picked up a nice game. First and 10 for Atlanta. We want to receive a set once again here for Atlanta. This time they're in a spread on the halfbacks. Seven step drop now for Dunhill. Dunhill reads and he got his guy. Looks like Boot Chisholm along the sideline there. He picks up a first down for his first reception today. And Dunhill's doing a great job. Great start so far. The O line for Atlanta is giving him plenty of time to find his open receivers. Great catch by Boo Chisholm. He's down, Tulsa's 18. The DBs for Tulsa are playing off. Four wide receiver, single back now. Uh, and that's BDG Hollywood on the handoff. And hand he, oh, thought he was going to get a spin move there. That's why I was holding it. Uh, picks up five yards on that carry. And, Boo, and I'm sorry, BDG Hollywood is showing why he's one of the best backs in his league. Yeah, he's currently averaging four yards, 4.4 yards a carry. Nice lane, open up for him. Got five yards on that play. Rain possibility in the forecast, but we're indoors. And there's another handoff here to Hollywood, and Hollywood picks up four. Third and one now for Atlanta in red zone. And they're beating on the door of the Toasts of Desperados. Yes, they are. And BDG is having his normal day, and he has the potential to break a lot of milestones today. We'll talk about that later on as the broadcast goes on.
Empty formation. Shotgun for Dunhill. Five wide receivers. Throws an out route to the bottom of the field, and as Boot Chisholm, he gets the first down. First and ten for Atlanta inside at the five-yard line. And Atlanta is just on a hot streak. Tulsa has no answer for either the run or the pass. Let's we'll see if Atlanta can get a TD. And they have, uh, uh, Atlanta, that is, sorry, has just come down the field and just basically done whatever it is that they wanted to do on this drive. And there's a handoff here to Hollywood. No, it's the backup. And he's nothing doing. The backup halfback for the Atlanta Swarm is Riley Freeman. Hey, isn't Riley it's Freeman? Atlanta, even though it was the backup, he did a great job penetrating the O-line and making the stop. Isn't Riley Freeman the little guy from the boondocks? <laughs> and Dunhill takes a one-step drop, dumps it off to the fullback, and he tries to spin move, nothing doing it, but he's brought down at the one-yard line. Third and goal now for Atlanta. As they have had the ball the entire start of this game, taking off just about four minutes on the clock on this drive. But they got to convert here. They marched down the field. They need to get this... Turned us into seven points. Dunhill got some receivers out of bounds. They wanted to set up for a field goal. Atlanta unable to come away with the with the uh, with with six on the drive down to the one yard line and come up empty. There's a snap. The kick is up. And the referee gives the signal, and the kick is good. And it looks like we're having some audio difficulties. Uh, T-Roy is stating that he can't hear me. And there's a kick here by Atlanta. Charles Bell comes away with that return. He's down to the 30-yard line. Sorry about that. I am back now. Nice return by Charles Ball. Let's see if uh, Tulsa can answer Atlanta's play. Last All right. Drive. Glad to hear that we got the audio back. <laughs> Awesome. Two wide receiver set here for the Tosa Desperados. Split backs on the halfbacks. And there's a seven-step drive here by Martin. And Martin winds up, and he got the receiver. He picks up the first down. That's Bush. And nice play by Mike Martin. Uh, the old line for Tosa gave him enough time to throw that pass to Bush. He's staying calmly in the pocket. Nice out route by Bush. First down 10 for Tosa. A great job. Great catch there by Bush. At least getting one foot in bounds. That's all you need here in the right. SFL. Yes, sir. Bush coming away with his first reception of the game. Oop the oop formation here. No, I'll take that back. Four wide receiver set. Shotgun. Half back in the backfield. Looks like Robinson with Martin. And there's a high snap. And Martin just, what was he throwing that? No one was in the vicinity. That should be a intentional grounding or so. There was nobody there. The refs were kind to Mike Martin on that play. The ball just slipped through his hands during that uh, throw. It's all right. It's just, it wasn't an interception, so it's all good. Godspeed in the chat stating that he loves what the defense did on the last drive for Atlanta. Bend but don't break defense for the Tulsa Desperados. Bunch left now for Martin. There's a high snap. Martin winds up going deep. He gets his receiver. His Godspeed. And speaking of Godspeed, nice catch in be amongst three or four swarm defenders. Both QBs are coming out hot. There's the replay. Great concent concentration by Godspeed. First down for Tulsa. I like how Martin comes out swinging. Not afraid to go deep. 
just took that one play where the ball slipped out of his hand, out of his mind, completed a nice dot there. Single back left for the Desperados. Four wide receiver set. Here's a seven-step drop here by Martin. And Atlanta bring pressure. And that ball is tipped and intercepted. Oh. Looks like Mahmoud Ajawani comes away with his first pick of the game. The tip trail comes out in Atlanta's favor. Oh, no, it's and not. It's it, it, yeah, it wasn't Mahmoud. It was it was Pat uh, Kitza comes away with that INT. Nice job by the Swarm defense. Swarming on that uh, Tulsa receiver. And now they start their series on their own 20. Three wide receiver split back formations on the halfbacks. Two-step drop for down here. There's an out route to the bottom of the field. That's to Chisholm. He comes away with another reception. And Marcus Dunhill is doing a great job so far. Last week he had two INTs versus Tallahassee. Today he's just on fire. Yeah, but there's something special about that Tallahassee defense. They know how to take away the ball. Yes, they do. And I'm not surprised that there was an INT on that last possession for Tosa because Martin comes in. I think he has 18 INTs on the season. That is correct. And yes, it's a three-step yes, drop by Dunhill. Dunhill throws the ball across the middle. That pass is tipped. But Sage Falco comes away with the reception on the tip drill. Great concentration and awareness by Sage Falco. Noticing that his teammate wasn't able to make the catch because he was facing traffic. He comes and Falco comes away with the nice play. First down, Atlanta. That's great concentration there for Falco, man. Keep his eyes on that tip ball like that. Yeah, it had a chance to be picked off, but he was aware. Saved his teammates. Marcus Dunhill, 6'5", 215-pound rookie. Taking in the first round, number 10 overall pick. Five-step drop by Dunhill. Throws a bomb downfield, and that pass is deflected and almost intercepted by Kyler Murray. And he might be kicking himself. Still a great play to keep that catch from uh, hurting Tulsa. But, man, it fell in his hands. He needed to come away with that INT. And here's Martin. Martin got an out route, and there's a reception there by uh, Boo Chisholm. Picking up only three yards on that play. Now, Boo was rarely used this season, but he is the go-to man so far today for Atlanta. See if they can gonna keep going to him. Oop the oop formation this time for Atlanta. Three wide receivers in the tight end to the right side. Single boot chisholm down to the bottom. And there's an out pass to the top of the field. That looks like BDG Hollywood there. Oh, no, it wasn't oh, Hollywood. Yeah, that was Walker there. I wonder if it's the same Javon Walker that played at Florida State. Anyway, that was a great play <laughs> by him. Making the catch, converting for the first down. I think Florida State might need him. He might have to go back to Tallahassee. <laughs> Five formations, empty backfield for Dunhill. Dunhill gets pressure, throws to Booty, BDG. Oh, I get those mixed up. Boot Chisholm, and he's got five for five receptions today. Zero drops. Talk about hands. Yeah, he is the man. Murray made the tackle, but Boot Chisholm, once again, with a nice out route, nice catch, kept both feet inbounds. Another first down. I think every catch he has made so far compared to a first down. Yeah, you're absolutely right. That's five for five for Chisholm. 21 yards on the day. Here's a handoff here to BDG Hollywood, and he's nothing doing. Picks up one yard on the play, though. Great job by the Tulsa deep. I mean, on the Swarm player to stop him for just a one-yard gain. That's from where he looks like he was the guy that made the tackle, amongst others. <laughs> Trips left here for Dunhill. Dunhill steps up in the pocket. He got his walk across the middle of the field, and Martin picks up. 
at five. Looks like it picks up about six. Yeah, and great right. job. Great job. Great concentration over the middle. Javon Walker with a nice catch. See if they convert this to a first down. That's 40 yards for Chisholm on the day. Three wide receiver set, split backs on the halfbacks, five-step drive by Martin. Tosa brings a bunch of pressure, and that ball is tipped, almost intercepted by Murray. And unfortunately, that's the second INT that Murray should have had, but he stopped the swarm from uh, potentially getting a touchdown. Here comes the field goal attempt. And let's see if Alex Kidd can get this one to split the uprights as he did the first one. And there's the snap. The kick is up. And it's good. 45 yard right down the middle. And that ball was screaming. Yes, it was. Good job by the non-contract kicker, Alex Kidd, to go right down the middle. I know the Swarm probably wanted touchdowns there, but, hey, at least they got points. It's better to get field goals than zero. That ball looked like it had another five miles on it. Sure did. And the ball is on the tee, and Kidd is ready to kick it back to the Desperados and boot it. Here's Bell, and Bell is popped hard at the 29-yard line. My goodness. Now, he's almost at 1,000 yards, too. He needed 59 coming into today's game to get 1,000 yards as a kickoff returner. He probably would get that in today's game. All he needs is for Atlanta to score one more time. He should just about have it. Trips right here for Martin. Godspeed to the top of the field all by himself. Donzo Robinson in the backfield alone. And as a strike across the middle of the field, that pass is tipped around about three times before it being picked off. And that is none other than Darren Williams, the backup cornerback playing this in the corner uh, in, a, in a nickel slot, comes away with that INT. And the Swarm, living up to their namesake, swarming on to the, the Tulsa defender. Good job by Williams. Darren get the INT in. Swarm should be able to get his touchdown here. We'll see if they can. That was a great defense. They have, as you stated, they've been swarming to the ball all game long. And I think it has something to do with this electric blue uniform that they're wearing here today. It kind of, yeah, kind of reminds me of the Chargers when they wear those powder blues. <laughs> Four wide receivers in a single right is the BDG Hollywood. And Don Hill. Oh, Murray. <laughs> Give him some stick him because he's dropping everything today. Hurry up offense. Second and 10 here in Atlanta. Five-step drop for Dunhill. Throws a strike across the middle of the field to Falco. Falco oh, picks damn. up the first down. Wow. No huddle again. But the quarterback casually <laughs> strutting along. Five-step drop for Dunhill. Dunhill. He got his fella in his chisholm. Touchdown, Atlanta. Dunhill to Chisholm once again, this time for six. Nice job, and the hurry up offense pays off. Caught Tulsa sleeping on the last couple of plays. Here's the replay. O-line for Atlanta doing a great job holding the Tulsa to the D-line. And then it was just perfect pass. Two drop picks by Murray. And, and that then could come back to haunt him, too. It can absolutely come back to haunt him. And now Boo Chisholm scores a touchdown on him. That can actually break his confidence for the rest of this game. He got to shake it off. Act like it didn't happen. Come back strong to help his team out. Just as well as Mariah Carey said, you got to shake it off. You're right. <laughs> as you hear the stadium bees buzzing in celebration of Atlanta's third score of the game. 13-0. Oh, go ahead. And Sorry about that. Yeah, Tulsa, <laughs> I hope that they will uh, start using their running back. Sanzo has been not has been quiet so far. It's been all passes for them. 13-0. The Atlanta swarm up over the Desperados now. Still here in the first quarter. Atlanta has basically controlled the start of this game. And here's Charles Ball down to the 
30 yard line. He has his his thousand yards return for the season now. Yeah, two kick returns. They've reached the 1,000 yard mark. Congratulations to both of them. But see, if Tulsa's going to start relying on their on the former Baltimore player, Sanzo Robinson, on the running game this drive. And if you ask me, I don't think Robinson has a has a carry. He doesn't have a carry or a reception so oh, far. Oh, wow. Not good. And here's Martin on a three step drop. Dumps it off to Robinson. Robinson tries to get a spin move going. Picks up four yards. I disagree with that. I think he only picked up three. Yep. Unless he's going to get him forward progress. Yeah, the rest been kind so far. First, the potential attentional grounding that was not called. And then that favorable spot. Still, Tulsa guy keeping it going. Looks like could be a running play here. We'll see. Handoff here to Robinson up the middle of the field. And Robinson almost gets to the first down line. Picks up three on that play. Very good job. Very good job by the Tulsa O-line just to give him that hole. Only two yards to convert. They should be able to do that. We'll see what happens. Maybe another run. And off here to Robinson once again. And Robinson picks up the first down, tries to spin between two defenders, but he's brought down. Looks like a Qantas Shine comes away with that tackle. A Qantas Shine shine on on that play, but Robinson was able to convert on that first down. And he reached a milestone at the end of the last game, going over 3,000 yards, rushing for his career. First and 10 for Tulsa. Martin only has 16 yards passing with a 30.5. QB rating so far, two INTs. There's another handoff here to Robinson, and Robinson got his room, got a block, and he's down to the 40, and then he's popped and smacked down at the 36-yard line. And yeah, that great was... job. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. You got it. No, great job by Sanzo reading the defense. All uh, his uh, blockers did a great job blocking out there. He was able to pick up a huge game. It's always good to see former Baltimore players doing well. Yeah, I, I I agree with you. I come from Baltimore as well, and uh, it's good to see fellow alum from the Baltimore Crabs <laughs> have great yes. careers. And and there's a look at Robinson there. We give credit to Aaron Lee coming away with that touchdown saving tackle. If not, Robinson would be dancing in the end zone. High snap to Martin. Martin throws his dump right down the middle to Robinson. Was that Robinson? Uh, no, not Robinson. That was to the tight end. Will Danderson, that's a big dude, 6'7", 240. No one be next to him in the alley. No, sir. Should I say bump into him in a dark alley? Oh, no. <laughs> that's the end of the first quarter, folks. Here in Atlanta, Tosa Desperados are marching down the field. Look at Aaron Lee there. Desperados are down by 13. 4-3 is the defense. They're not going to bring blitz. Look, they're bringing pressure down to the bottom of the field now. And handoff here to Robinson. And Robinson is stopped in the backfield. They're not going to call it a tackle for loss for Shine. They're going to say that he stopped him at the line of scrimmage. But still, good job by Shine coming in and put a halt to Robinson's progress. Robinson was having a good uh, day so far. But Shine was able to make the stop. Now it's third and five. 32 dime formation here for the defense. Trips left here for the Desperados. Martin steps up, got his man across the middle of the field, and that is a first down grab. And that is Marcel Miller coming away with that catch. Great job by both Miller and Martin. Martin faced the heat, took the hit, threw a nice dot to Miller, and he absorbed a hit from Lee, but didn't matter. First down for Tulsa. Good job. Key offensive players for this Tosa Desperados offense. Michael Martin, Andrew Godspeed, number 10. Stephen Bush, number 11. Corey Jones, number 13. Sanzo Robinson, number 20. And Martin got his man down the bottom of the field. And that looks like Stephen Bush comes away with his, uh, I think, second or third reception today. Picks up nine. Great catch. Good job. Nice throw. Nice concentration by two swarm defenders. But still, Bush was able to to make the catch. He's on the sidelines now for this play, though. Strong strong eye formation here now for the Desperados. There's another handoff here to Robinson, and Robinson is stopped in the backfield with a two-yard loss. 
in the swarm. E. Robinson, good job stopping him for a loss. It was Greg Julin, the defensive tackle, coming away with that stop on Robinson. Split backs. Twins left here for Martin. Bush is in the slot. Godspeed to the bottom. Two-step drop for Martin. Got an out route down to Godspeed. And Godspeed caught it, but he was behind the sticks. Or should I say he caught it in front of the sticks and then twisted his body and landed behind the sticks. That was crazy and bizarre all at the same time. <laughs> oh, yeah, unfor <laughs> unfortunately, Godspeed's momentum took him away from the first down marker. They're going to have to sell for three points now because of it. Oh, maybe not. They're going to try to go, go for, for it. it. And it looks like Atlanta is bringing blitz from the slot. And maybe the Desperados is not going to draw them offside. They're going to call a timeout here. Yeah, they're going to have to. Atlanta and, was very disciplined on that one. Good job by them staying focused. And that's the Desperados' first INT. Not INT, I'm sorry. First time out of the game. They have two remaining. And Atlanta still have all three. And there's a coach who we got to wish a happy belated birthday. He just celebrated his birthday. Was it last night for him? Uh, for Yep, yeah, it was. And uh, the other coach, I think, his birthday is today. Yeah. Mark Chisholm. Mark Chisholm's birthday is today. Yes, sir. And, and quick birthday shout out to my mom, too. It's her birthday today as well. Happy birthday, moms. My mom's birthday is on the 30th of this year, this month. And there's a snap. The kick is up. And it is good. Like I said before, if three is better than zero, they would like to have converted that for a uh, six points instead of three. But Tulsa will take it. I agree with you. Only down by 10 now. Both of these teams are fighting to get themselves back into the playoff race. Well, they are in the playoff race, but they're trying to get, or should I say, secure their number two seed down in the Southern Conference as the South is pretty tight at this moment with the, with the Tallahassee Pride stealing the way with the number one spot. Then it's your team, the Houston Hyenas, that are second, but uh, Tulsa and Atlanta have the same records. The only difference right now, Tulsa has the lead because they beat Atlanta week seven. We'll see if Atlanta can turn things around. Mm -hmm. If Dunhill stays hot, that should not be a problem for them. There's a handoff here to BDG Hollywood, and Hollywood is stood up in the backfield for a two-yard loss. I don't think Tulsa wants BDG Hollywood to reach 1,000 yards today. Good job by the D-line. Yeah, Breaking is, through and stopping. Tulsa is, play, is playing BDG to the fullest uh, besides that first drive where he, he racked up a nice gang of yards. Yeah, he was seemingly averaging at least five yards to carry during the first couple of drives, but Tulsa is now adapting. Seven-step drop by Martin. Martin steps up, and that pass is incomplete. Ooh. He was lucky. And was that Murray? Yeah, Murray almost had INT, but he did a great job preventing Chisholm from making that catch. Here's the replay. Yeah, Murray redeems himself on that one. Great position. Yeah, he, he honestly he should have had another pick. That would have been four, but... Still, that's a great stop. It's third and long now. We'll see if Tulsa can uh, stop Atlanta and get the ball back. As of right now, this is what the playoff tree looks like. Number one seed is held by the Alaska Storm. Number two, the Tallahassee Pride. The third spot is to the Carolina Skyhawks. Queen City Corsairs hold the number four spot. And there's a strike across the middle of the field to Chisholm. And Chisholm, oh, unfortunately couldn't get the first down. The usually reliable Chisholm... Unfortunately, dropped it in the middle of the field. Stopped the, their drive. We'll see if uh, Tulsa now can convert this to points, preferably seven. The Tulsa Desperados holds the number six speed, uh, seat. Number five seat is held by the Cosair Spar I'm sorry, the Sioux Falls Sparrows. And there's a snap on the punt. Mexico City holds the number seven seat. Number eight seat is held by Baltimore. Number nine seat is held by the New Orleans Pharaohs. And the Houston Hyenas hold the number 10 seed. Atlanta sits in 13th at 4-5. and five. If they can win today, 
they would jump back into the wild card spot and Tosa will be out. So it's it, it would get a whole lot crazier once week 13 gets here. My safe with the commissioner talked about it. He's like, I am not worried about that until week 13. <laughs> There's a dump off here to Robinson, and Robinson has been active in the passing game, picking up seven yards on that play. Second and three for Tosa now. And we'll see if they can build off of this momentum they now have, putting a, a stop to Atlanta's offense. They got to get uh, six to get back in this game. All set, ISZ half back, handoff here to Robinson. Robinson got blockers out front. One man to beat Aaron Lee, and Aaron Lee has been saving touchdowns all game. Man, that is crab on crab crime there. Aaron <laughs> Lee, the former Baltimore crab, getting on Sansa, preventing a potential touchdown uh, run by Robinson. Nice job by the Tulsa O line. And up until 20, meets up with the other 20. Nice block by the fullback there, Buffalo Marshall. It's crazy how that guy's name is Buffalo Marshall. There's a school here in the greater Houston area, which is Thurgood Marshall, and their mascot is the Buffaloes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a pass up to the top of the field there. Looks like Corey Jones. No, I take that back. That's not Jones. That's the tight end. Danderson. There's a penalty on the play there. Neutral zone infraction on Atlanta. And here's the key players for this defense for the Atlanta Swarm. Aaron Lee, number 20, strong safety. Josh Vaquez, number 21, the cornerback. Patrick Ketza, number 23, corner. Mahmoud Ajalani, the veteran, number 29. Jose Fuentes, defensive end, number 52. Outside linebacker, Quintus Shine, who's the leader of this defense. And Joshua Williams, the defensive end. Another handoff here to Robinson. This Robinson is met in the backfield. Give credit on that tackle to Bushido Brown. Bushido Brown coming up and stopping him. Nice open field tackle. Looks like the Tulsa player forgot to cover him. There is a lot of characters from the Boondock, from the Boondocks cartoon on this Atlanta Swarm defense. <laughs> <laughs> There's a handoff here to Robinson. As Robinson stopped in the backfield again, this time for a two-yard loss. And Robinson numbers are going down. Yep, yeah, and that's the Swarm living up to their namesake once again. It takes three to stop them, but, hey, it's a loss of two. Now it's third and long. We'll see if Tulsa can convert here. They have to to stay in this game. Trips right for Martin. Godspeed down to the bottom of the field by himself. Robinson in the backfield. He's going to stand and block. Martin winds up. And that pass is tipped and almost intercepted by my mood. Intended for Corey Jones. Unfortunately, unable to come away with it. His waiver to come out and punt the ball away. Corey Jones looked like he could potentially have it, but did the stripes get in the way? No, no. It was a good job by the Atlanta Swarm defense to distract him. Not the result that Tulsa needed. They don't have to punt. May have to call pass interference on R62. <laughs> In the stripes. <laughs> Seems to be getting away. Tulsa was having a great drive until they got a, got across the 50-yard line and wasn't able to, was unable to move the ball. And Atlanta is going to take over here at their very own 12-yard line with four minutes and 37 seconds left to go. If this was an NFL, they'd take a TV timeout. But unfortunately, this is the SFL. There are no TV timeouts, baby. You get straight action here. Yeah. Well, it's not necessarily unfortunate. I think that's a great thing. Yeah, it is a great <laughs> thing. <laughs> Split back. Let's see. Three wide receivers here for Atlanta. Nickel formation for uh, the Desperados. And there's nobody on the slot receiver. BDG Hollywood gets the handoff, picks up two yards. So maybe they'll run that play again. No, listen, that the slot receiver was in cover and throw it to him next time. But great job by Royale stopping BDG on that play. I'm not sure why the defense didn't flip to that side of the field where the slot receiver was. And if, if Martin should have saw that, I mean, not Martin, Dunhill should have saw that, and he should have called an audible and took advantage of it. There's another handoff here to Hollywood, and Hollywood is meant to stand up. 
stood up, and that looks like Espen Rael on that tackle once again. He was on the last tackle as well, and he got two on the drive. Jay Dizzle, 2011993 in the chat say TV timeouts, no. <laughs> Yeah, we don't need those. Oop the oop formation here for Atlanta. One step drop by Dunhill. Going across the middle of the field. That pass is incomplete. And that was intended for Allen, the third. Well, great job by Tulsa. Defense putting a stop to the swarm now. They should have great field position here. Atlanta unable to move the ball on this drive. We're going to have to settle for a punt. And here's Charles Ball in. Ball is stopped, but he gets across midfield. Let's see if Tosa can get something happen here with 328 left in this half to get the Desperados back on the back in the ball game here. They're down by 10. Yeah, and they should know that their playoff lives is on the line right now. They have to convert this drive to six to get themselves back in this game and get the momentum back in their favor. Three wide receiver set here for the Desperados. Split back to the halfbacks. And there's a handoff here to Robinson. And Robinson is stopped and brought down after picking up two yards. Shan Varner spoke with Mark Chisholm earlier this week. Can we go down to Shane on the sideline? Shane, can you give us an update as far as what the coach came in or informed you of this week? Yeah, I talked to Mark earlier in the week, and Mark was really wanting to get BDG Hollywood more involved in this game and also getting his number one receiver, Falco, with some great passes. And, and, and Atlanta has done just that. They have gotten BDG Hollywood involved. Uh, he was very productive on that first drive. But other than that, he has not been productive at all. But Falco has come away with some great catch, especially the tip catch off of the other guy's helmet. <laughs> yeah, definitely saved that drive. That could have been INT if Falco wasn't aware. Right. Four wide receiver set here for Tosa. And Tosa dumps it off across the middle of the field. And that pass is caught. But unfortunately, couldn't get the first down. Fourth and one for the Desperados. Will they try to go for it? Yeah, they on Atlanta's 39. Potentially field goal range. We'll see what they decide to do. They need at least come away with points here. They try to go for it. And looks like there's a handoff here to Robinson. And Robinson gets the first down. Great play there. Great play call, should I say. They took advantage of the wide open field. And that's the two-minute warning. And that was a great job by Tulsa going for it. Normally when you see the four from one formation, they usually try to draw a team off sides here in the SFL. Good job by Tulsa getting the first down on that play. Tulsa is making a move now here in Atlanta at the 36-yard line. First and 10 for the Desperados. Three wide receivers here is Martin on the handoff here to Robinson. And Robinson is met in the backfield by a Quintus Shine. No, it's not Shine. Trying to get a number on that license plate. And that is Tyson Mack. What a name. He should belong on the all-name team, the SFL. Nice job by Tyson putting the kibosh on Robinson's run there. Far formation here for the Desperados. Three wide receiver set. And as a handoff here to Robinson and nothing doing. Shine in on the tackle this time again with Mack. We might have to start calling Tyson Mack the Mack truck. He just put Tonsil Robinson back for a couple of uh, – for. A yard loss is now third and long. Tulsa has to rebound. Mack is playing outstanding on the last two plays. Looking to do something here. Trips right here for Martin. Godspeed down to the bottom of the field. Halfback to the right is Robinson. And Martin on a five-step drop in. Martin. Martin is intercepted. Intercepted by Pat. Pat Kitsa. Tried to go for the corner route, and Kitsa jumps it. Yeah, he basically baited the quarterback, thinking that 
his wide receiver was wide open, but Kitsa came up, snagged the play, snagged that ball. Yeah, Lance in good business here. We're seeing they're going to try to round the clock with just 56 seconds left. Split backs on the halfbacks. Three wide receivers set. Boo Chisholm to the top of the field. There's BDG. Hollywood with the spin moving. Hollywood got daylight. And he breaks the tackle. BDG to the 30. He's running like a game banger with speed. Touchdown, BDG Hollywood. And a swarm goes up by 17. Nice run by BDG Hollywood breaking the tackles. He read the defense on that play. And I believe on that carry, he should have achieved 5,000 yards rushing for his career. Sorry, arm tackles won't stop this guy right here. Great job by BDG Hollywood. He said, forget running out the clock. Let's just take it for six. Great run there by BDG. Running like a gangbanger with speed. Dude showing at 4-2. Yes, yes, sir. He could not be stopped. It's a known fact that bees and those alike can fly faster than humans run. BDG Hollywood just proved that. There's a snap for the extra point. That kick is up and good straight through the uprights. And I got to give props to whoever constructed that stadium because those bees up there are very intimidating. <laughs> I remember we played our preseason game up there. I was like, oh, my God, they look huge. <laughs> and there's a the kick. Let's see if Charles Ball can answer with the return here as he was deadly on the returns last season. I think he led the league in kick returns for touchdowns. Unfortunately, Ball is tackled at the 32. That's still a decent return, but yep. what would be Tulsa's game plan here with only 41 seconds? They're going to have to uh, rebound from their uh, la from their struggles on offense to stay in this game. They need to get some points here. I Looks like they're going to run. I would play the sideline. You still have two tight at timeouts. Five-step drive by Martin. Martin goes deep down the middle of the field. That pass is tipped in, almost intercepted by Mack. Dangerous throw down the middle. Tyson Mack. Tyson Mack gets his name on the billboard. Or the Titan Tron, should I say. <laughs> yes, sir. He, he's playing Mike Tyson's punch out right now on the defense. Great job by him. Archelani. Almost coming away. Archelani showing great athleticism on that deflection. Yeah, if I were Tulsa, I might want to start taking knee going to halftime so they don't so they can stop this swarm's momentum. Because they will get the ball first in the second half. Stephen Bush in the slot. Godspeed to the bottom here. Looks like Corey Jones to the top of the field. There's a handoff here to BDG Hollywood. Gets a spin move. And he picks up five. And Tulsa is going to be forced to call a timeout. Third and five now at the Tulsa's 36-yard line. Not sure why they ran the ball there and then call a timeout because if they get stopped here, Atlanta has a chance to score, and you saw what happened last play. Last drive. Yep. There's those bees again. And the, and the, and the fans here in the hive are calling for the defense. Shining Mack is playing the middle of the field, and there's a handoff here to Robinson once more, and Robinson breaks the man free. Picks up the first down. Now Toast is going to run to the line of scrimmage. See if they're going to spike it or is they going to run the play. Seven step right. drop by Martin and Martin throws to the sideline. That pass is deflected. Almost Ooh. intercepted by Pat Kedza. Kedza must think that ball is honey because he was like a bee going towards honey. He wanted that <laughs> ball. Or his favorite flower where he can so, uh, collect the neck, the uh, <laughs> what is it called? The nectar. <laughs> collect that pollen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Twins right here now for Tosa. Looks like they're going to run the ball here. I formation of the halfback. Robinson dots it. Seven step drop by Martin. Martin goes deep down the middle of the field. That pass is caught. Was is that Godspeed? It is Godspeed who comes away with that reception. That was clutch. He had a swarm of defenders on him, but he's still able to make that play. Mike Martin, perfect pass. 
And here comes Godspeed making a great catch. That was a beautiful spiral. Aaron Lee almost had a chance to pick that off. Aaron Lee has been playing great defense in the, in the uh, secondary. Uh, according to touchdown saving tackles, I believe that's his third saving tackle of the day. But that's his job. He's a safety. He's the safety net of the defense. And Tosa is going to set up for three here. I think they could have took a shot. Yeah, they probably could have had one chance to throw it in the end zone. But if they want to play a safe, at least come away with points this drive. And there's the kick. And it's no good. It's wide right. Oh, no. And Wheeler two. unable to connect. No, sir. And two words that no Florida State fan wants to hear. Wide right. Oh, and man. And no Desperado fan wants to hear that right now. He fortunately shanked it to the right and comes away with nothing. <laughs> that missed field goal only took four seconds off the clock. Five seconds still left on it here for Atlanta. Will they just run it to run the clock out? Because there's four wide receivers on the field. And there's a handoff here to BDG, and BDG is stopped. But Atlanta calls oh. a timeout. <laughs> I think the Swarm is trolling Tulsa right now. There's the birthday man right there. Very pleased with how his team played in the first half. Trying to think of something so they can get a score here. Maybe with only two seconds left. Will we see Atlanta come out in the Hail Mary formation? As we saw Houston last night come out in Hail Mary right before the half. And, man, yeah. Kentez Johnson was almost sacked in the backfield, in the pocket, and he broke that sack and just threw up a bomb to DR Sim, and it was good. Hand off here to BDG, and BDG picks up five on that carry. And that's the end yeah, that of the was, half. Yes, sir. That was a great play by DR Sim last night, and BDG sort of had a great play to, quote, unquote, end the half this game with that long touchdown run. And that was the half, people. We're right back here for this second half action here in the hive as the Atlanta Swarm are up 20 to 3 over the Tulsa Desperados. Both teams sitting at 4 and 5, looking to. Uh, Bounce ahead in the standings for the SFL playoff run. Or we are three weeks away from the playoffs, T Roy. Yeah, what I can't you? believe this. Yeah, I can't believe this season's almost over. It seemed like it just began <laughs> yesterday. So this has been a great season. Look forward to finishing strong and getting to the playoffs. And Atlanta's trying to do that right now. And it's Charles Ball almost break one. Up to the 34-yard line. Man, I thought Ball was gone. Yeah, he must have heard you from the second half saying that he was the leader in kick returns and for a TDs. He was trying to do one, perform one on that play. But a good start for Tulsa. Now they got to convert points. They got to put points on the board. Great field position here. Empty back on the, uh, uh, for Tulsa. Four wide receivers and a tight end. Two tight ends on the play. Five-step drop by Martin, and Martin goes deep to Godspeed. He got his receiver with a jumping reception, and Godspeed is stopped and brought down at the 31-yard line. What a play for Martin to Godspeed. Yeah, and that's a nice average there on four catches, 91 yards. Let's we'll see if he just outran me. He just outran Pat Ketza. Nice play. Tulsa's uh, is actually on Atlanta's side of the field. They're in business. Andre Godspeed comes. Yeah, he comes into today's game with 68 receptions, 848 yards, and three touchdowns. He Offset. needs 152 to get to 1,000. He's almost there. Offset eye on the halfbacks. Handoff here to Robinson, and Robinson is met in the backfield by none other than a Quintus Shine. He has been playing cleanup. <laughs> He's shining on. He's living up to his namesake. Shine on. Shine on. <laughs> nice tackle there. Just a two-yard game. 
Strong power eye formation here for the Desperados. Second and eight. They're going to hand it off here to Robinson, and Robinson gets skinny. Picks up three yards. Maybe two. Not believe. Wasn't that Ajelani with the tackle there? It looked like Ajelani came up from the safety spot to lay the wood. Yes, he did. And he had four tackles against Tallahassee last week. Got his first one of the game to, on that play. Third and long for Tulsa. At Atlanta 26, there's a handoff here to Robinson, and Robinson almost gets the first down, but comes up short, fourth and one. Robinson with 70 yards, 3.9 averaging of the day. Yeah, and he looked the, like he... Oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah, he looked like he was about to get that first down, but the Swarm defense was able to stop him. Now they got to sell for field goal. Hopefully this kicker can get that wide right out, out of his mind and convert here. Yep, I was going to say it was a safeties came up and, and and knocked Robinson back. Man, did you see that block? Somebody yeah. tried to jump and block the – somebody tried to jump and block it. Let's see if we can get a replay on it here. No, they're not going to show it. And the uh, old lineman for Tosa just pushed the guy and he fell on his back. <laughs> He's like, no, sir, you ain't going to block this attempt. Great job by the Tosa old line there on special teams. Hey, wait a minute, did they miss that? Yes, they did. I thought they made it. They did miss it. Oh, wow. Wide they... left. Far formation here for the offense. Three spread, and here's BDG Hollywood. He got some room. And let's see, is he going to get away from uh, Kanye Rockefeller? And no, Rockefeller makes the tackle. Oh, I thought he was gone. Absolutely, that's ball. I thought it was Rockefeller who was running him down. But... Hey, BDG Hollywood is doing what his owner and coach wanted him to do. That's get involved in the game. And he's having an outstanding day so far. Yes, sir. And he looked like he was going to bust it for uh, sixth on that play, but Ball was able to make the tackle. BDG only needed 180 yards today to get over 1,000 for the season. Mm -hmm. He's very close to that. Three wide receivers to the top here for Atlanta at Tosa's 33. Another hand off here to Hollywood, and Hollywood is stopped. Hollywood with 142. My goodness. Yeah, just actually, yeah, he's real close to 180. 38 yards is all he right. needed. And reached 1,000 for the season. A great day for BDG Hollywood as usual. Same formation. One step by Martin, uh, Dunhill, sorry, and he dumps it off to uh, BDG. And he picks up one yard on that reception. Tulsa is like, no, we're tired of you running up all over us, BDG Hollywood. Good stop by the Tulsa defenders, making it a third and long. Empty backfield for Dunhill. Oop to oop formation with the tight end to the top. Dunhill got uh, 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 daylight. I've lost concentration there. Nice strike across the middle of the field to Allen the third. <laughs> was trying to say he had plenty of time. <laughs> yes, he did. And LB Allen the third, the great kick returner, had great concentration there. Make that catch. Almost should have been picked off, but Tulsa's defender wasn't ready for that pass. Right. Good job by Allen the third. Espen Rael. Espen Rael was right there in the uh, vicinity. Mr. 99 problems, but football ain't won. Was unable to come away with the deflection. Three wide receivers set here for Atlanta. Split backs. Seven step drop for Dunhill. Throws an out route down to the bottom of the field to Chisholm, and Chisholm comes away with that reception, picking up only three. That's his eighth reception today for 79 yards. And Marcus Dunhill is doing a complete 180 from their first meeting in week seven. Turnovers were the issue for Atlanta as Tulsa was able to win that game. But right now, mm -hmm. Dunhill is playing perfect. Looks like same formation. Looks like they flipped it this time. Dunhill has daylight, but he gets pressured and brought down. Give that sack to Gib Ledoux. And he is like, no, no more. No more, Dunhill. We got to turn this thing around for our uh, team. Gib Ledoux, great job. 
no, but the fullback forgot to pick him up. Yeah, easy I guess, sack. For I was, just, I was gonna say he he looked like he came in untouched. Yeah, it was untouched. It was the fullback's responsibility. He completely whipped. <laughs> Third and 14, Dunhill on the seven, on seven step drop. Throws an out run to the top of the field. He gets a reception by Falco, and that's a first down inside of the 10 yard line. They stained that he, that he stepped out at the five yard line. What a catch by Falco. Falco with the toe drag swag. Nate may have been the guy who uh, stopped him from taking it to the house, but Falco was able to make that play. Good job by Atlanta. First and go. Who chisholm to the bottom, Falco to the top. Three wide receiver set, Allen in the slot. Hollywood in the backfield. Hollywood gets the handoff, but he stopped and blowed up in the backfield with the four yard loss. And once again, that was Red Sawyer. Red Sawyer coming in with a nice play, but the swarm O line and the fullback was able to stop. Oh. It's a second goal for Atlanta. Atlanta's 11 is split back formation. BDG Hollywood gets the handoff and makes a spin move. Stopped at the four-yard line as he's fist pumping. That's better. Good job by the O-line this time, giving him a hole to run through. Almost was able to take it in for six, but got stuffed at the Tulsa four-yard line. It's third and go. Five step drop by Dunhill goes to the bottom here and is out of bounds intended for the receiver. Atlanta has is, is Atlanta is going to have to settle for three now. Give credit wonder, to that Tosa defense. I was wondering if he actually got one foot in. Maybe they're gonna challenge it, but looks like they're not. But the swarm sorry, the Desperados defense been, but it didn't break. Forcing the swarm to settle for three. And that's what they call this defense. I don't think I want to bend but don't break defense. I want to bend and no bend. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. <laughs> A no bend defense. <laughs> it is. Yeah, they gave up points here. Now Tulsa's offense, just they have to respond. Otherwise, this game's getting real out of hand. Oddly enough, it is the same score from the previous game. These two, oh, not same score. It's 23 to 9, week 7 score. It's 23 to 3 right now. It should be 9, went for those missed field goals. Correct. There's a return by Charles Ball, and Ball doesn't have any daylight at all. Stopped and brought down at the 28. Tackled by a host of Swarm. Give credit to those tackles, Corey Mickens. And Raleigh Freeman. And here comes Tulsa. Mike Martin has to get hot. He needs to get this team back on track. Yeah, Martin got to get something going here because he hasn't been very productive. Handoff here to Robinson. And Robinson stopped and brought down. Good Martin. job. By the... Go ahead. Yeah, good job by the Swarm defense stopping them just a one-yard game. Quanah Shine once again. Maybe the coaches are trying to keep the ball out of Martin's hands by continuing to give it to Robinson. Not sure why they keep giving it to him because you got to get the pass game going. Martin has three interceptions. He's 10 of 19 and only has 86 yards on the day. Five-step drop by Martin. Martin goes to the top of the field, and that is to Stephen Bush who comes away with that reception. Nice play for a first down, and there you go. He was just asking for it. You don't want him to uh, get too cold there. Here's the replay. Nice catch by Bush. Two defenders there on him. He was able to come away with reception. Five-step drop by Martin this time. Martin dumps it off across the middle of the field, and that is to Stephen Bush once again. Great job. Left the field, middle of the field wide open. Get what Bush, they can take. Bush picks up six yards on that reception. That's his third for the day. Let's look at Andre Godspeed. 
the veteran who came over from London, stated that he didn't like the apple pie. He loved American pie better. Yeah. Five-step drop by Martin, and Martin throws an incomplete pass intended for Sonzo Robinson. Looks like he should have caught that, and someone else could have been the receiver for that play. What was third and six? We'll see if Mike Martin can uh, convert this to a first down, keep this drive alive. Third and four for the Desperados here in Atlanta. Handoff here to Robinson, and Robinson is met at the first down line, and before he's knocked back, <laughs> Josh Vasquez comes away with that tackle. Is it already four down territory at this stage of the game? I would say yes. I think so too. And the bees like are livid in the hive. Fourth and one for Tosa here in Atlanta. 246 left in the third quarter. They're going to sna snap it. Hand off to Robinson. He picks up the first down. First and 10 for the Desperados. It has been all Robinson this game for them. Yeah, and great job by the old line of fullback making the necessary blocks to help Robinson get that first down on fourth one. That's that second fourth down conversion of this game. The crowd was loud, and I think it, 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 that was the loudest I've heard them all game long. Here's another handoff here to Robinson. They're just going to feed this monster all game long. Why not? That's a great job by the Tulsa Desperados O-line, giving him the space he needed to pick up six. Yeah, but the more you run the ball, the more time you – the clock is ticking. Yeah, Four wide receivers. Rare. Stephen Bush in the slot down to the bottom. Looks like Godspeed. This is an ace quads formation. Martin goes to the middle of the field. He got his receiver, Bush. He got the first down and more out to the seven-yard line. Great strike from Martin to Bush. And Bush with the clutch catch amongst a swarm of Atlanta defenders. Great job by him converting it. Now it's first and goal, I believe. Now the Desperados are knocking on the door of the big bad wolves of the swarm. Three wide receivers set. Godspeed to the top. Corey Jones at the bottom. Stephen Bush in there's a slot in. There's a handoff here to Godspeed. Godspeed picks up two yards on that play. One minute and 14 seconds and ticking. Tulsa has to get points here. They need to sell. They should get seven, not a field goal. Let's get this touchdown here. It'll be 29 in the chat saying let them eat the clock. Continue to run it. As we're down to 56 seconds now here in the third quarter. Martin and shotgun. Three wide receivers to his right. Godspeed to the top by himself. But there's three defenders of the swarm over there, so that takes him away. Throws to the back of the end zone, incomplete. Pass intended for Miller. It was. He looks like he could have had a chance to catch it. Ball may have been thrown a little bit behind him on that one. They got to get six. Atlanta basically took Godspeed out of the play. They had three defenders covering him up there. Bushtown down to the bottom of the field by himself. Uh, looks like Corey Jones is in the slot. Godspeed to the top by himself. Five-step drop here by Martin. Throws it right across the middle of the field. He got Robinson. Oh, it's Corey Jones on the touchdown. And there you go. That's what they needed. The Swarm forgot about Corey Jones. He's able to get in for six. This game ain't over yet. I can remember Corey Jones' rookie year was a was a was a was a was a nice season for him starting off in Houston getting some experience down there then going up to Tosa came the number one receiver last season this season he dropped down to the slot receiver Tosa is looking to chop the deficit down to 13 as they get that extra point there to go And that's what Tulsa needed. Now their defense has to respond this time, not even bending or breaking, just straight up stop the swarm from scoring so they can get right back on the field and score themselves. And 
And here's Allen the third out to the 30 yard line. I thought he was going to get that spin move to go and he was going to break off <laughs> to the races. Not that time. Good job by the Desperado special teams to prevent him from getting past the 30 yard line. We'll see what Land can do here. 38 seconds here in the third quarter. Here in Atlanta, there's a look at Charles Ball. The strong safety for this Desperado's defense. Offset eye is BDG Hollywood. They're going to hand off him to him on the sweep, and BDG makes a guy miss. Got one man to beat, and he's brought down by Espen Rael. But look at his numbers for the day. Hollywood, that is. Yeah, he's getting close to that 1,000-yard mark for the season. Great job reading defense, picking up the first down. Great patience there on that run, allowing the block to allowing the blocker to to get that defender out of the way, and then he cuts it upfield. And I believe he has reached over one thousand yard, one thousand carries in his career. That's a milestone. Another handoff here to Hollywood, and Hollywood gets nine yards on that carry. Does this guy ever get tired? So you can kick the tires. He's still got plenty of left. <laughs> plenty of tread left. Offset eye on the halfbacks. Hollywood dots the eye. Three wide receivers set here for the swarm. There's a handoff into Hollywood. And that's a horse collar. That is a horse collar on Red Sawyer. Red Sawyer thinking he's in the a uh, WWE. Almost did, did a suplex on him. I thought the horse collar was illegal. Maybe the referee didn't see it, but that sure was. He grabbed that dude right on the inside of the jersey and the shoulder pads and brought him backwards. One step drop for Dunhill. Dunhill got his receiver, and that is Falco. And Look at those numbers on the day. And Marcus was on, is still on fire. No ints up to this point. Complete reversal from the previous game in Week Seven. Throwing a nice dot to Falco there. Falco is playing outstanding, as you stated. No ints. It has been said who is going to be QB of the year out of these two rookies of, 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 of Dunhill and Kentez Johnson from Houston. Kentez had a great night last night, and Dunhill is having one of his own tonight. There's a strike across the middle of the field, and that is to Allen the third. Great catch at the five-yard line. Swarm are not going away just yet. They're beating on the door of the Desperados. Let me in. Eric and Allen's like, I'm not just a kick return. I'm a good receiver as well. He nice catch by him. He plays the slot so yeah. well, man. They're calling Dunhill, uh, Marcus Dunhill, MD15. To get 12 gauge, 15 gauge, baby. Two step drop by Dunhill, throws a lame duck in the end zone, and that pass is deflected and batted away. Yeah, that should have been an INT. Tulsa needed that one. We'll see if that's going to come back to haunt him. Jay Bam Bam Cook was in the area of the defensive tackle when that pass was deflected. That's a big dude. This dude's 6'4", 347 pounds. 347, man. Here's Dunhill. Dumps it off to Hollywood, and Hollywood is smacked. Oh, my goodness. Kanye Rockefeller got barbecue on the field, and he didn't invite me. Guess what? T-Roy, he just hurt my feelings. Hurt your feelings and hurt BDG's ribs. Nice stop by him preventing the touchdown. We'll see if Tulsa will be able to stop them from scoring, period. Third and go. Third and go here for Atlanta. And Atlanta, 8.58. Here's a handoff here to BDG, and Hollywood is in. Touchdown, Atlanta. That was too easy. The old line of the swarm was able to open up a huge hole for BDG to walk in. 
basically untouched. That is that is his second touchdown of the game. Well, he got tackled at the end, but it didn't matter at that point. If he gets two more, BDG will have 50 career touchdowns as a running back. BDG Hollywood is having a game of his life. Take a look at the stat sheet here. I believe that's his second touchdown of the day. 170 yards. It's just 10 away from 1,000 for BDG for the season. He's averaging 11.7 yards a carry. I hope to have as good a day as he is having right now <laughs> when I face Queen City this Monday. Here's Charles Ball on the return, and Ball runs a guy over, smacked him. There's a song called Move, Get Out the Way. He just ran over that dude. <laughs> Thankfully, the swarm was able to stop him after that first truck. If I'm not mistaken, that song is by Ludacris from the Chicken yeah. and Beer album. Yes, sir. <laughs> Three wide receivers set here for Michael Martin. Sanzo Robinson in the backfield by himself. Five-step drop here by the QB. Throws an out route to Corey Jones, looks like. I know that was Andre Godspeed. Great catch by Godspeed and, 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 and him breaking the tackle and get above the sticks. And that's also the important part. He made a catch, but was able to break that tackle and convert that into a first down. Good start on their drive. We'll see if they can keep it going. Four wide receiver set here for uh, Martin. Steven Bush to the top of the field. Andre Godspeed down to the bottom. Corey Jones in the slot. And uh, Godspeed comes away with the reception. Picks up eight on that catch. For he's brought down by, by Patrick. And looks like a Quintus Shine was in his vicinity as well on the tackle. There you go. Martin's trying to get hot again after a very uh, cold start to the game. Two good passes to he will help that. Second and short. Strong eye formation here for the Desperados. Not quite sure why they're in this formation here. Hand off here to Robinson, and Robinson is nothing doing. Okay, my apologies. They're just trying to get the first down there. I see why. <laughs> I'm thinking about them being down by, you know, 20, 20 points. You got to go to the air. Yeah, they should be, they should be in the two-minute drill every drive from this point on. They need to mm -hmm. catch up. Yep, seven twenty, uh, seven fifty now left in the in the in the in the game. Twins left for Martin. Two step stop, uh, drop step for Martin. And Martin finds Godspeed across the middle of the field. And you're right, T. Roy. I think they should be in in in, in, in two minute warnings here. They should be two minute drill. Keep keep it going. Keep the momentum going. Keep the defense off their heels and not allowing them to be able to substitute. Yeah, they got to score 20 points quick. They're going right back to the power eye. And off here to Robinson, and Robinson is stopped after gaining one yard. I remember I think what... I... Go ahead. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think that at this point they need to just throw away every running play. It should be all passes at this point. <laughs> I, 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 I agree with you. Godspeed to the bottom. Stephen Bush in the slot. Corey Jones to the top of the field. And the three wide receiver set. Another handoff here to Robinson. I don't think Tosa wants to win this game. I hate yeah. to say that, but I, I hate to say that. But I don't think they want to win with the with the play calls they're doing. It, it almost looked like Robinson had a chance to bust, it, bust that run for a long play. But the Swarm was able to stop him. Now it's third and six. They have to convert. Single back quads. Five-step drop by Martin. And Martin got Godspeed. And Godspeed picks up the first down. And he gets out of bounds and makes a clock stop. 
Great play. Looks like he twisted his tweaked his ankle, uh, his knee on that play. Yeah, but he's a trooper. He's going to stay in there. Great job by him converting that third down to the first, keeping this drive alive. That INT is hurting. <laughs> There's a look at Martin's stats. 239 passing on the day. Five-step drop by Michael Martin, and Martin got his receiver to the top of the field. He picks up nine. And that's to Danderson. Well, Tulsa is moving the ball downfield, but unfortunately that clock is not their friend right now. They got to speed it up. You're absolutely right. 535 left here in the fourth quarter here in Atlanta. Second and one for the Tulsa Desperados. Five-step drop by Martin. Throws an out route to Godspeed. He makes the catch. Picks up the first down. And Tosa's just taking their 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 precious time on this as drive. I quote, yeah, as I quote the great Chris Berman, tick, 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 tick. Time's <laughs> running out. They gotta hurry up. Three wide receivers set here for Tosa Desperado. First and ten at Atlanta's 19-yard line. Inside of the red zone. Beaten on the door of the swarm. Thunzo Robinson in the backfield. Martin calling the signal. Martin on a seven-step drop. Dumps it off to Robinson behind the line of scrimmage. And a quaint shine gets there along with Mack. And he's stopped at the line of scrimmage. Now they decide to go no holder. Once they get inside of the four-minute mark. 4.44 left. Second and ten. Martin on a seven-step drop this time. Goes to deep on top of the field. He got Stephen Bush. Picks up the first down. They're going to run no huddle once more. Sorry, T-Roy. You're not able to say anything just yet. Got to keep this thing going. <laughs> Martin on another seven-step drop in. He dumps it off to Robinson again. Behind the line of scrimmage. And Robinson is brought down by a gain of swarm. My goodness. Second and goal now. Seven-yard line is the Tulsa Desperados offense. Four minutes and 15 seconds left. Can I get a breather here? Three wide receivers set. Martin on another seven-step drop. Throws an out route to the top of the field. Steven Bush and Bush is in the end zone. Touchdown. Now can get a cup of water. There you go. That was, that's the hurry up we were looking for. Great job by Bush to be able to make the out route here, make the catch. The land swarm defender just left Bush alone all by himself. I don't know why he was that far back there, but good job by Tulsa. Great job by Tosa. Decided finally deciding to go hurry up offense as we included that they should have done a long time ago. Yes. With that touchdown that brought him down by 13. 13, yeah. Well, really 14. Once the extra point, that'll be 13. There you go. There you go. <laughs> 30 to 17 is a score. Down by 13. Yeah, but now the kicker has to convert this onside kick. Otherwise, it could be game over. The question is, will the Desperados attempt the onside? It looks like they are. Yeah, they have to at this point. Down by 13. They need two more touchdowns. Yeah, they're down by two possessions. And there's the onside kick in that pass. That is... Atlanta comes away with the recover. Backup tight end, Allen Lawrence, on the hands team. And that's how you make a pro football team. Sometimes it's just your performance in special teams. Good job by Lawrence getting that onside kick. Trips right here for Dunhill. Sage Falco down to the bottom of the field all by himself. Opposite the trips, handoff here to BDG. Makes a juke move. Picks up three on that carry. And I think this drive may be a BDG feature uh, drive, but he looks like something was up with his back there after that first carry. I want to say thanks once again to Shane Varner for being on stats with us tonight, providing all the stats of this game. I want to include everyone. Thanks you for watching the SFL Simulation Football League presented by APM Music live here on YouTube. Download the score stream app so that you have access to all scores throughout of the SFL. And yeah, and other favorite sports teams. There's another handoff here to BDG. Hollywood, Hollywood is smacked by Espen Rael. That was a good play by Rael, but 
the most important thing is next to that school or clock down there is 308 and counting. Mm-hmm. Tulsa's chances to win this game is running out. You took the words right out of my mouth. Tulsa did not burn any type of timeouts <clears throat> on this drive. Third and six for Atlanta at Tulsa's 36 yard line. The only Tulsa only, I mean, Atlanta only can get neat. Can uh, just need to get past the 35 yard line. They've been field goal range. There's a handoff here to BDG, and BDG gets past the 35 down to the 33 yard line. They can kick the field goal here, Atlanta, that is. But guess what? As you stated earlier, the clock is still ticking. Tulsa is not calling a timeout. Yeah, and if Atlanta does make a field goal, this game will most likely be out of reach. This is the SFL, and anything can happen, but they're going to have to. Uh, Stop them from converting. Oh, they, are they punting? They're going to punt this ball away. Do what you love. Love what you do. MediatechInstitute.edu. Sorry about that. Look it up. I visit one of their campuses here in Houston, Texas, and I tell you, those guys do everything from video, audio, applications, creations. Man, they do it all over there. It is, it is an awesome thing. I tried to get in, but they told me that I've used too much of my financial aid when I got my bachelor's degree. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> the weird thing is that I only use 54,000 of financial aid. So I was like, come on, you guys are only going to charge me 29. Just <laughs> let me in. <laughs> they weren't ready to handle your greatness there. I, th I, think, I think so. Five step drive by Martin. Martin throws an uh, uh, out pass to Stephen Bush up to the top of the field. And my apologies, that's not Bush. That was Corey Jones on the reception. Hurry up offense now for Tulsa. One step drop for Martin. Martin got his man. Godspeed crossed the middle of the field. One minute and 32 seconds left in this game. Games, uh, T. Roy. Yeah, and right now, they playing to hurry up offense, see if they can get a touchdown here. Seven step drop by Martin. Martin deep. He got his man, Stephen Bush. Out to the 46-yard line of Atlanta. Now Tosa calls a timeout. One minute and 19 seconds left on the clock. Let's look at the replay. And Bush, doesn't matter who's near him. He's going to make that catch. Nice reception. Possibly a potential touchdown drive right here. It looks like Aaron Lee thought that the pass was going to be overthrown because it looked like he was, if you look at the replay, he was trying to get himself together to catch the ball. <laughs> Boy, wide receiver set here for the Toso Desperados here in Atlanta. One minute, 19 seconds left on the clock. Three, two, dime defense is the uh, swarm, and that pass is deflected away by Mahmoud Ajalani. Good job by Ajalani there, making the deflection, uh, the pat down right there, keeping Godspeed from potentially taking that to the house. Ajalani was the last line of defense on that play. Tulsa needs a prayer right now with a minute 15. They have to get a touchdown right here. One minute and 15 seconds left on the clock. Three wide receivers set. Stephen Bush in the slot. Sonzo Robinson in the backfield. Dot in the offset eye. Seven step drop here by Martin. Gets a little pressure. Godspeed on the sideline. Toes in before he's stepping out of bounds. Picks up four yards on that reception. And Nice job just making the catch, making it an easier third and long. It would have been third and ten, but it's just third and sixth. Five wide receiver, empty back formation on the Desperados. Martin calling the signal. There's a snap. Gets a little pressure. Out route once again to Godspeed. This time short of the sticks. Fourth and one, you don't have a choice but to go for it because there's only one minute and eight seconds left in this game. Man, if Godspeed was able to control himself, he would be able to turn up the field and get first down. The game is now right here, this play right here. They got to get the first down. And there goes the Beehive. The fans are calling the defense to make a play. High formation here on the Desperados. Five-step drop by Martin. Martin goes deep. That pass is deflected by Pat Gitza. 
Give him the MVP. Yeah, he has to have it. If it's not him, it's definitely BDG. But back hits a with the clutch deflection. Turnover on downs. Go ahead. Sorry. I don't know where this should be the ball game now. Atlanta just got around the clock. Get up by Ketsa knocking the ball down. Atlanta got paybacks from their week seven loss to Tulsa. The scoreboard shows Tulsa has two timeouts. I think they only have one timeout left, if I'm not mistaken. I think they did burn two previous timeouts. There's a kneel down. And Tulsa, oh, okay, they did have two. They have one remaining. If Atlanta keeps kneeling down, they might not have the chance to round the clock. So Tulsa should get the ball. But it's pretty much automatic right here. Great job by Marcus. He was on fire today. No INTs. That's another nail down there by Atlanta. Timeout Tulsa. They take their final timeout. One minute and two seconds left. Yeah, so Tulsa should get the ball with some time left. But it's pretty much over. Great job by Atlanta. All right. Defending their home turf and getting the victory today. Be able to move up to 500. If I was Atlanta, I would have ran the ball here instead of taking a kneel down. Well, either way I go, I think that it would have worked both ways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that toss a little party half of what? About 20 seconds? Yep. After, they, a, after this punt? That's a 20 second differential from the play clock and the game clock. Looks like uh, it's one second off, like uh, 19 seconds off. I guess one Tulsa player wants to talk smack. <laughs> <laughs> he waited there's 30 seconds left in the game to say that. <laughs> All right. There's the punt back to the Desperados. Charles Ball, can you make a play? And Balls gets the rumbling and almost breaks free out to the 43-yard line now. 14 seconds left in this game. Atlanta is up on top by 13, 30 to 17, all the swarm. Looks like they're going to be moving ahead to 5-5 five and five in the Southern Division. And the Desperado is going to move to four and six. Hail Mary formation on the Desperados. Michael Martin in the back. Shotgun steps up and he's sacked and brought down. Yeah, unfortunately, that will do it. Give credit to the defense and Jose Fuentes. And that's the ball game, people. Swarm was able to defend their home turf and get revenge for that week seven loss. They move up to five and five for the season. Michael Martin had over 300 yards passing, but three turnovers is what cost him. Yeah, that's exactly what happened to the Atlanta in week seven. Their turnovers cost them. And let's also not forget, there were three passes that the Tulsa defender could have picked off from Marcus Dunhill at, during the first half. That could have been the difference in today's game. But Atlanta just held Tulsa in check and BDG Hollywood was a beast today. It was all BDG for this Atlanta offense. <clears throat> Along with Dunhill as well, throwing strikes, being very efficient. Yes, sir. And we just saw scroll on the bottom of the screen. Let's give some uh, love to uh, one of the Tulsa receivers, Bush. With his day today, he only needed 112 to go over 1,000 yards receiving for his career. He got 117. So congrats, Bush, for reaching 1,000 yards receiving on your career. Congratulations, young man. Bush is a very good receiver. He's going to have a great career here in the SFL. Just continue to stay active within the team. It's a nice target, nice second target to have. Great 
opposite of Andre Godspeed. Yeah, he was able to prove that he can make clutch catches in traffic. That's going to be very important. Here's your uh, player of the game, BDG Hollywood. 23 attempts, 175 yards, two touchdowns, one reception, y'all. He should definitely break 1,000 yards for this season next week. And that's the ball game, folks. I was your play-by-play -play commentator, Demon Simeon, and he is T War Games. Hey, everybody! See you guys next week live on the SFL Network. Peace. Have a great week, guys. Thanks for watching.